Hey guys, good morning. I'm gonna be vlogging today. Um, I just got back from the vet because actually none of this has been in a vlog because I've been doing sit down videos, but Zell, um, let me just start from the beginning with what's been going on with Zell. So Zell has a little mass or had a little mass on her back. About three years ago I had it aspirated and it was benign so it was nothing to worry about. Um, but I've noticed that it's been growing a little bit. So when I took her into the vet, they said that they recommended removing it altogether um, because even if they aspirated it, there was a chance that it could still turn into something later on. So I uh, was gonna do that, but I wanted to get just one second opinion from another vet um, before going through like a surgery like that. So, um, and also not only that, but they had quoted me over a thousand dollars for that. And I just wanted to see, cause since I don't know the area and I don't really know what vets charge around here, I wanted to see if that was like, I just wanted a second opinion, right? So I went to a different vet and he was like, no, I think we should just aspirate it again just to make sure that it's still nothing. And he did that and he was like, yeah, it's still nothing. I wouldn't remove it and go through a surgery like that, you know, just for this little time. I mean, it was tiny like the size of like a pea probably. He was like, I wouldn't, you know, put her through that for this. And I said, you know what, while we're here, I had picked up a different food for Zell and she started throwing up and it seems like even though we've switched her back to her other food, she's still throwing up. Um, and I just, um, I've never seen her throw up this much. Is that normal when you switch foods? I, I asked him what he thought about that and he, felt her belly and he said um, that it felt really, um, what did he say? I think he said it felt hard or firm and he wanted to do an x-ray. So he did an x-ray of her belly and found out that she ate a bottle cap. Now we think that she must have gotten into the trash because we've ne she's never gotten into the trash before. We've had her for seven years and she's never dug through the trash. She's like an amazing dog. Like we've never had any sort of situation happened like that. But we think that she had to have gone in the trash, maybe she smelled some food in there, got in the trash somehow, and ate a bottle cap, which shocked me. So he was like, we are gonna have to do a surgery, and since we're doing, we're gonna do the surgery anyway, I can go ahead and just remove that little spot on her back for, you know, no charge, because it was already gonna cost me a lot to do the surgery to get the bottle cap out, so he said he would just do it for me. He, it's, he's an amazing vet. So um, she had her surgery, everything went great. Um, we got her back and she's on two pain medications and one anti-nausea um, and he has her on for the first three days. She's on um, Royal Canin gastrointestinal low fat wet food for the first three days. And then we start switching her back to her other food. Um, so, I, everything has been completely fine, but last night I noticed that her belly was extremely red. Um, and not to mention, every time I put her cone on, she like rips it off. Um, she won't keep it on. So I'm, I need to figure out how to loop the cone through a thinner collar, because she has a really thick collar on right now, and the cone can't loop through it. So I need to find a thin collar to loop the cone through, if that makes sense. Um, so she can't get it off because now, right now, she won't keep it on for anything. So I sent an email last night to the vet with a picture of her belly and I said, does this look normal? He said, just bring her in in the morning so we can check it. So I just got back from bringing her in and they checked it and they said it's just really bad bruising and that it's, um, sometimes just happens when they have surgery like that and she said that everything looks great and Zell's doing great. So, um... You know, uh, I think Zell's going to be completely fine. It was a, a big ordeal, but she's healing, so I'll show her to you. But um, I'm just happy that we were able to find out about the bottle cap. That's the one on her back that they took off. Yeah. And I won't show her, you her belly because it's, um, I don't want to make anyone sick. So, um. How are you doing, Zell? You okay? Yeah, such a good girl. So, um, Nick was working from home today and Skyla kept 
going and banging on his office doors and like screaming and he was on the phone with his new boss and so he's like I just I have to move my office downstairs because I need to work from home but I can't have like her screaming in the background so Nick literally moved his entire office everything that was in his office downstairs into the basement he's making his office in the basement okay so while that all that was going on I um, was trying to get a some stuff picked up around the house and um, I started getting like heart palpitations. I know, I know I'm gonna change. You've definitely got boogers all over, huh? You've got boogers, You've boogers everywhere. Yes, <laughs> you do, you have boogers. Mommy needs to wipe those up. <laughs> so I was trying to clean up and it just like, with that in the background. It was like giving me so much anxiety and my heart, I started having heart palpitation. And it looked like Duchess was getting diarrhea again and I, that's the last thing that I want to happen again is for Duchess to get sick after I'm dealing with Zell, Zell's post-surgery stuff. Um, Zell's taking uh, pain meds three times a day and anti-nausea meds one time a day, but she has two different ones. And she has like um, a strict schedule of eat when they're taken. Some are taken before the meal, some are taken uh, with the meal. So um, there's just a lot of stuff going on here at the house. And um, Nick was like moving all his stuff downstairs and he was like all frustrated. And so, and Skyla's whining in the background. <laughs> You're okay. You're completely fine. You're completely fine. I have a OB appointment today. It's just like a regular checkup. So I'm gonna mention it, but I really think it was just like a mini anxiety attack, which I haven't had in so long. Um, either that or just the fact that I know that the increased like blood flow in pregnancy can cause you to have heart palpitations. It was kind of scary. Kayla was so good at my appointment, like, so good. I cannot believe how good she was. I must have prepared perfectly because she had everything. I even brought the iPad in so she could watch Moana because normally at these she has like major meltdowns. So the doctor said I'm doing too much. She said if I'm having heart palpitations like that, I'm doing too much, like um, phys I'm physically exerting myself too much. Um, she said to try to not um, do so much. She said that it's getting to the point now in my pregnancy where I need to take it easy more and rest a little bit more. Um, so, yeah, that's what her recommendation was. Oh, I forgot to tell you this. They, they did not do this at my OB in Texas. Um, they didn't recommend this, but she told me that since I've had the cold sore virus, that she would recommend that I take the antiviral medication um, for three weeks, or starting at 36 weeks, to start taking one a day of the antiviral medication. Um, this office apparently recommends that for anyone who has that the cold sore virus. Um, and they didn't, I didn't have to take that with Skyla. So this is kind of like a new thing and I have no problem with it. I mean, if that's what they want me to do, then I'm completely on board. But that's something that she told me today. So she called that medication in and um, she called it into the Target that we go to. But I needed to go to Target anyway because we are, I need to get like a baby gate to go at the bottom of the stairs because right now I have like the big bulky like baby like playpen thing that I'm using at the bottom of the stairs and it's just too hard to get up and down. So I mean I need to go pick up a baby gate and I think I have a couple other things on my list but it works out um, but I'm feeling a lot better and I'm just really proud of Skyla for doing so well. I think this is the one we have at home. Yes it is. It's huge. It's massive. It's massive, Skyla. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, it's Gaga. massive. <laughs> okay, this is the one we're gonna get. I'll just double check, make sure this is the one. Yep, that's it. That's it. Those aren't for eating, honey. Don't eat that, okay? Skyla was once again so good at Target. I I don't know what it is. I'm starting to think that maybe it's bringing this. This makes her feel like super. Well, I jinxed it, but she was amazing inside Target. Take my word for it. Go on, sweetheart. Well, I guess you gotta wait. And so you look like you're feeling so much better. Um, like right here in this area. We got popsicle sticks everywhere. Yeah, I think the rug would look good like right here. The fireplace? We're gonna put it on top. Huh? We're gonna put it on top. The fireplace? Yeah. Yeah. We need to put the cover on anyway. Look at Skyla's face. We need to put the cover on anyway on the fireplace because it was pouring yesterday and we didn't, I didn't have the cover on it. How do you move this thing? We'll move the, we'll move the fireplace out and then we'll put that on in there. We'll have to lift the couch then. Nick had to pause because he has to jump on a call. But I'm so excited. Check out the office. He's moved everything out. And that means that it's going to be my office. I'm going to have an office for editing and like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else. Any type of stuff that I need to do on the computer. Things like that. In my new office. <laughs> I wonder what it looks like in Nick's. Um basement office. I feel kind of bad for him, but these doors don't stay closed. I guess we could put a lock on him, but still she would stand right here and just scream while he's on the phone, which can't happen. So step into my new office. Eek! I'm so excited. I've never had an office before, Zell. I've never had an office before. Look what's here. Adeline's diaper fail. I almost completely forgot about and putting a diaper peel in here. Um, but here it is. I just got the gray one. It's the same one that Skyla has. It's the Ubi. Skyla has white. So um, I just decided to get the gray one for Adeline's room. It's not beautiful, but it is what it is. You gotta have a diaper pail. All right, so gotta have a diaper pail. Hey. Yeah, let me hit my calluses for me. At least you're working emoji. You eating right. pineapples? Well, eating pineapples? Yum! Look how good you are, Zell. Look how good you are. We did it. <laughs> Almost, actually. Yeah. Careful, oh, baby. Yeah. Be careful, Munchkin. <laughs> Super Dad installing the new gate so that we can put this one downstairs. It was just kind of like, this is like a pin and we had it down at the bottom and it was kind of um, not really working. This is much, much easier. We have the same one up there at the top and we love it. So this will be extremely helpful.
we are finally going to bed. Oh my gosh, I'm like looking at myself in a viewfinder, just like I look so rough today. Um, I uh, did not work out today because the OB told me to take it easy, so I actually listened. It was um, hard, but I didn't. Um, I don't want to overdo it, but it does suck. I still definitely need to make sure I'm at least walking. That's like, that has to happen for my sanity. But we watched Planet of the Apes or, well, we rented Planet of the Apes and Nick kind of watched it, but we both kind of just were playing on our phones. I, it didn't look like it was that good of a movie, but in Nick's defense, I rented Chucky last night and it was not good either. <laughs> So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and check out the links below. Bye.